welcome to episode 122 of Out of Venga's Shadow on FM24. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode is the uh, pre-season and transfer special edition. I'll uh, begin by showing you the squad as it stands now and letting you know the uh, players that will be leaving at the end of the season and that will be coming up in just a moment. <laughs> Okay, so here is the squad as it stands on the 1st of June and the players that I've highlighted are all going to be leaving at the end of the month when their contracts expire because they've all either refused to sign a new deal or already agreed a deal elsewhere or are no longer uh, considered... <laughs> okay, it is now the 1st of July and the out of contract players have left. I have uh, offered a couple of uh, deals to players I wasn't originally going to. I've offered Matt Manley a new contract because he could still be a reasonably useful player. Same with um, George Pockney, I've offered him a new deal as well. So he's gonna be sticking around the place and also Ben Forgrave probably has the potential to at least be reasonable and if not we can sell him on so I've offered him a deal as well so as it stands we've got a squad of 17 but 14 of them are first team players and uh, so we've got plenty of work to do so I'm going to go and uh, get the uh, first batch of uh, signings lined up and I'll introduce them to you in just a moment. Okay, well it's the uh, middle of July and uh, as you can see we've made a couple of signings and we've lost a few players as well. So uh, starting with the players who've gone, Ronan's gone on a free to Al Itihad, as has Alexandro to Paris Saint-Germain and Neto to Atletico Madrid, nothing and Levine to Athletico Al Nasser, nothing we could do about any of them because they uh, all refused to sign new deals and negotiated those moves themselves. So uh, on to the... Okay, it's now the 20th of July and time to update you on the latest new signing. And as you can see, we've got a replacement for the departed Romero Lara. Our new backup keeper is Facundo Cajon from Arsenal for an initial £18.75 million, rising to a potential £21.5 million. So let's have a look at him. And he is a two and a half star potential two and a half star current ability keeper so he's only ever going to be a backup but he is an Argentinian international 46 caps so plenty of ability I'm sure he'll get plenty of matches for us and uh, I'm delighted to have uh, brought him in so uh, I'll be back at the end of pre-season to uh, confirm whether or not we've managed to bring in any more so I'll talk to you again in just a moment. Okay, it is now the 6th of August. The Premier League season starts later today. And uh, as you can see, uh, we haven't managed to get any further players in. So uh, as it stands, this is the squad that we're taking into the new season. So uh, goalkeepers are Juan Esteban Garcia and new signing for Kundo Cajon. Um, we only have one right back and that's youngster Jan Marek who is uh, only 16 but has been promoted from the youth team to the first team squad. We only have two centre backs in Van Zeitveld and Maikon. We only have one left back and that's new signing Mohamed Cham. Um, we've got defensive midfielders in Requena, Manley and Pockney. Central midfielders in Edgar Diaz, Damar Horton and Ben Forgrave. Right wingers in Marcelino and new signing Naldinho. Left wingers in Andrić and Lucic. And three strikers in Shaquille Van Persie, Clayton Dolce and Jan Cavalcanti. So as you can see the squad is extremely thin. And uh, I'll be back in a moment to uh, show you our pre-season results and the predicted table for the Premier League ta season. 
So I'll be back with that in just a moment. Okay, let's take a look at the pre-season results then. And as you can see, we've gone through the whole of pre-season unbeaten. We started with an away game against AFC Liverpool and smashed them 18-0. So it was probably a bit of a waste of time playing that one. But we then went on tour to the Far East where we met Arsenal, beat them 2-1. Albirex, a local uh, Singaporean side, and beat them 12-0. Again, probably a slightly pointless game. We beat Ipswich Town 3-1 on the same tour. We then came home and beat Dortmund by three goals to nil, PSV Eindhoven by six goals to one. We were then held to a draw by Celtic. Uh, we then finished off pre-season with uh, four nil wins over Northern Irish side Glentoran and Shelbourne. So uh, with that done, let's take a look at the pre-season predicted Premier League table. And we are predicted a fourth place finish, which will meet the uh, board's requirement of qualifying for the Champions League, but uh, not really what we're looking for. We are, we are looking to win the Premier League again. So uh, with that said, I'll be back in a moment to uh, show you what's coming up on the next episode. OK, well, in a slight break with channel tradition, I'm not going to show you the opening Premier League game this year. And that is because following that uh, home game against Southampton, we make the trip to the Etihad to play Manchester City and we then entertain Arsenal at Anfield. So I'm going to show you those two games instead. And uh, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.